A rheumatoid nodule is a local swelling, usually quite firm to the touch, a little bit like an unripe fruit. It occurs almost exclusively in association with rheumatoid arthritis and is usually subcutaneous, especially over a bony prominence, such as underneath the metatarsophalangeal joints or the olecranon of the elbow. Patient coming up is a delightful lady who's had rheumatoid arthritis for over 20 years. She's been on anti-TNFs, which incidentally she stopped for the surgery. And she's got a swelling about the size of a kidney bean, sub-first metatarsophalangeal joints over the tibial sesamoid, where it's really quite sore. So the plan is to remove. We will, of course, send out send to histo for confirmation. And this is Karen doing the skin prep. And we're in theatre now. So here's our lesion. It's about the size of a kidney bean underneath the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. Patient is rheumatoid. So a rheumatoid nodule would be my go-to uh, thought for diagnosis. I'm going to come just on the side of it rather than go directly over it. Kind of wants to come out sooner rather than later, doesn't it, Karen? Yes. Have you got some smidly scissors, please, Chuck? Yeah. They're lovely, those are. That technical tip. Yeah. I use a lot of those, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the skin hooks, please, Karen. Anne's my favourite scrub nurse to work with because she's got the same sense of humour as I have. So Karen had a patient this morning, had to do a prostate exam on him, and he said, oh, where should I put my trousers, Mr Riley? I said, I'll put them on the back of the chair, next to mine. Just hold that for me. <laughs> Might have to take that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> so, here she blows. Normally this is done with a scrub nurse who's not, like... <laughs> who is that dog? <coughs> who used to laugh all the time? It's dastardly and mutton, wasn't it? Yeah, Matley. <laughs> but you made the noise at the same time. <laughs> I'm sure you've had your moments, Carol. <laughs> I meant when you laughed. Oh, right. So what I'm trying to do, Luke, is blunt dissect as much as possible. There's a bit more adhere to the skin there. Yeah. So I'm going to go a little bit sharp on the top side, so to speak. It's joint the beak, isn't it? It is a bit, yes. This is so satisfying. So I'm trying to stick close to the lesion so it all comes out. So rather than doing a, a cut nick, I'm almost really just kind of stroking with the blade. Just teasing it away. So it's going a little bit deeper in. And there she blows. So it's a decent size. Can we just come out with those hang chuck yet? Okay. That all feels good. Now what I can feel there is just the tibial sesamoid. And I'm just right on it there, just the tibial sesamoid just there. So you do lose a little bit of padding. Now sometimes when you get these, these nodules, you take them out, you do lose a bit, a bit of the padding that they've created. So you can get a bit of metatarsalgy afterwards. But that's it. Okay, we're going to go irrigate straight to skin. <coughs> and trail probably for skin. Thank you, sister. Certainly. I'm not really a doctor. I jumped up for off this thing. Here's your kick. Awesome.
count. We'll do a count, please. Josh, Josh, and that's it done. So the sample goes off to his toe, all soft tissue samples go off to his toe. Um, we'll dress it now, the stitch will stay in two weeks, and we'll hopefully have the histo result for the patient. And rheumatoid nodule would be my, my best guess for that. So my patient was back at two weeks for stitches out, the wound was progressing very well, sutures were removed, nothing abnormal with the wound at all, she was progressing very nicely indeed. By that stage I'd had the histo report, it was indeed a rheumatoid nodule, so we're now happy to start her back on the anti-TNS. Um, typically I'll keep the patients in a bandage for two to four weeks just to make sure the wound really heals, and I do a six month long term review. But this is um, just a, a short example of the uh, surgical technique for removal. Thank you.